the news and information you need from the people making a difference. This is Comcast Newsmakers. Hello again, everyone. I'm Maggie Skira. Welcome back to Comcast Newsmakers. And as I've been telling folks, we are not in our studio. We are at the National Steinbeck Center today in Salinas, and someplace we encourage and invite all of you to, to come and experience it. It is a treat on so many levels. But that's not the subject for the moment. The subject for the moment is sitting right here himself. This is Jim Walker, and he's here to tell us about the Scottish Highland Games and many other things related to uh, the, the Scottish culture. Welcome. Good to I'm see you again. Good to see you. Thank you for having me. Thank you. And I'm especially pleased that you drove here today from San Jose, Jim, wearing your, your special attire. <laughs> well, <laughs> kilt. I know a lot of people like to say the other word that they think. What do know, they say? Well, they call it a skirt. No, no, no. Never. Never, never. never. It is a kilt. Yes, it's definitely a kilt. And uh, it's, it's part of our attire. It's a cultural attire, but it's also what we have to wear when we compete. Mm -hmm. Now, I notice on your shirt, there's a picture of a lovely man and uh, the word Scottish heavy athletics. So give us a little idea about what your particular specialty is and uh, you know what's coming up with the games this year. Well, I'm a Highland athlete, heavy events athlete, so I compete in eight events. And you've probably seen the caber tossing where we throw trees, but we also compete in seven other events. This gentleman uh, passed away a couple of years ago, so this is a memorial shirt for him. Scottish Highland Games began, of course, in Scotland, um, I think back at around 1057 with uh, King Malcolm. Uh, as far as upcoming events go, uh, the Pleasanton Highland Games are coming up on August 30th and 31st. And this isn't just an athletic event. This is an event where sometimes some years between 30 and 60,000 people come. And there's Highland dancing, mm -hmm. there's bands, pipers, Great food all over the place. It's at the uh, Alameda County Fairgrounds off of Bernal Road in Pleasanton. And it's, a, it's an event for everybody. Anybody that's interested in good food, good music, entertainment, competitions, and our athletic events, of course. We have the World Championship uh, uh, Hammer Throw this year, the professional. So we're going to be drawing athletes from all over the world to Pleasanton. And I will be competing in the Masters 50 plus, which is anybody over 50 to 65, 70 will be competing out there. So, uh, if I could ask you, I mean, how do you do? You tr continually train for these things all year? I mean, I don't know how you, yeah, you get everything to, in. Well, you have to lift weights all all year long, and you have to throw all year long because the weights are really very heavy. The caber is about 100 pounds and 8 feet, 18 feet long. Um, one of the weights we throw for height and for distance is 42 pounds, which is about the same weight as filling up a five-gallon paint can with water. So if you, if you imagine that, that's quite that's, heavy stuff. Oh, it's, well, good. Well, you look like you're in fine shape, and I'm, I'm sure it's done, uh, done wonders for, <laughs> for you in many ways. Well, it has, and I really didn't exercise as far as lifting weights until I became 15 and wanted to do this, and now it's just absolutely fantastic. Uh, we have women and men competing from 18 years old uh, up to 75, and there's different weight classes for people to compete in, and it's open to anybody, anybody that wants to compete. It's a, it's a fantastic venue. So are there training guidelines within the organization? I mean, do you go to someplace special to learn how to toss a caber? Well, the wonderful thing about this is it's, it's, it's pretty individualized. So we have small groups all over the Bay Area that do get together and work out. And anybody that wants to find out about the games or wants to compete just needs to come to the games, comes to, come to our athletic table, mm -hmm. and then we will explain what's involved because you have to compete in all eight events and then hook the interested person up with some athletes to learn how to compete. So you do have to compete in all eight events to, to yes. be part of this? Yes. There's two hammer throws, two weights for distance, two stone throws, the caber, and then the weight over bar. Wow. All right. Well, Jim, in fine shape and of wonderful spirit, as we can tell. So it's done wonders for you. And uh, a great spectator sport if you're not into throwing this year. Uh, as he said, Alameda County Fairgrounds in Pleasanton, uh, Labor Day weekend. Yes. Coming up. All right. Thanks so much yeah. for joining us. Thank Good you luck. Ow. Oh. We'll have more <laughs> later on Comcast Newsmakers. I had to do that. That's all right. <laughs>